Are you looking for a way to stream out to multiple platforms all from one dashboard? Then you may want to hear us out in what we have experienced with Mob Crush. Find out all you need to know about Mob Crush and how to set everything up so you're live streaming out to multiple platforms in today's video. So make sure you stay tuned. Hey, I'm Dale and this is Live Streaming Tech. And if you wanna learn how to live stream like a pro, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn your bell notifications to on so you don't miss a single video. Hey, uh, what live streaming platforms do you enjoy? We definitely would love to hear from you and hear what your insights and experiences have been so far. I know that for me, I've been playing around a little bit with the Restream.io platform, and that helps me aggregate or send out to multiple platforms at the same time. However, my brother Walt leans a little bit more in favor of Mob Crush. In fact, he finds that it to be a bit more cost effective, but it does have its fair shares of headaches, hassles, and horse manure. But I don't want to poop on this because he does like it, and there's a good reason why he continues to use it, and you're gonna see how easy it is, so check it out. Okay, so here we are. We're in Streamlabs OBS. Here I am in my account. I have a $11.01 bonus. I did have $15. And I went ahead and picked up Mob Crush through the App Store. And you can find all these cool little apps down here. Some of them are good. Some of them are. I mean, I shouldn't say that they're not good. It's just I don't see that I would use many of them. But it, I guess it depends on taste. It's kind of like music. Uh, anyway, I picked up Mob Crush. I am a big fan of multi-streaming uh, software or multi-streaming um, uh, services that will put it up on there. Now, however, I should probably put this out and give you all a fair warning. If you are affiliate or partner of Twitch, you have to remember your live streaming content is theirs for 24 hours after the stream ends. Um, so it's kind of a big no-no to be streaming on YouTube um, and Facebook and Mixer while also live streaming on Twitch. Um, here's the thing, if you're a smaller streamer, you're more likely to probably get away with it, but I'm just putting that warning out there right now. I used to do the multi-stream a lot and, uh, pretty much stopped doing it shortly after I got my, uh, an affiliate, uh, status, uh, because if you read through the, uh, terms of service, the TOS, um, that basically that's what they say is that that content is theirs for 24 hours. Then after that, you can do whatever you wish with it upload it to YouTube, you know, chop it up, turn it into highlight clips, whatever you want to do. Um, but it is theirs. Uh, so that's just the word of the warning. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's get on with this. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So step one, it says link accounts, log in uh, with your platform of choice, then make sure uh, to link your accounts from other channels so you can stream everywhere at once. Step two, before every stream, you can choose your stream destinations, game title, stream title, and description. Now, see, I like that. Um, so for instance, before you start your stream, you can choose your stream destination. So for instance, say uh, you are a Twitch partner or a Twitch affiliate, and you're afraid of breaking these terms of services, but yet you still want to multi-stream to YouTube, Facebook, and Mixer, um, you probably uh, can get away with that as long as you're not live on Twitch. However, that will increase your um, streaming time. So, you know, because obviously you're going to still want to put your time in on Twitch and stream on Twitch as well. Uh, for instance, I used to do uh, Fridays, uh, Friday mornings for my Facebook only streams. Uh, where I streamed mobile phone uh, content, uh, such as, you know, little mobile games uh, like Clash of Clans, Clash Royale, those type of things. Um, so that that's also another idea. So this is a, another way to, to build. Uh, and that's the other thing, too. too those who are working hard on building their Twitch uh, channel, their Twitch content, um, that's the other thing, too. Build on other media platforms, such as YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, um, Twitter so on and so forth uh you know you got to spread that net out to catch more fish and the fish being the viewers all right show off your skills every platform blah 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 blah. all right let's get, get started all right so this is the first time i've done this so bear with me continue with uh so let's see here i guess we'll continue with all of them right Do we? all right here we go all right so this is where y'all close your eyes <laughs> 
Okay, we went ahead and we put in the uh, Twitch verification code. If you don't have that uh, set up through Twitch, I recommend doing it, especially if you are a Twitch affiliate or Twitch partner to where you are getting payments from there. Um, you don't want anyone else accessing your account very easily. So definitely set that up. All right, it says, we are creating a new profile. If you have a previous profile, sign in with the existing account. Uh, are you sure you want to continue? Yes. All right, and there we are. So I guess we put our username in here. So I'm gonna stick with, hit continue. Thank you for checking out Bob Crush. Be sure to click save broadcast info before each stream. Now I did read some forums on this and most, the majority of the people's issues that they had was it not broadcasting to the platforms that they were wanting to broadcast it to. And that's because uh, most of the time the devs came back and said, you have to make sure you save broadcast info before each stream. So notice this, they're basically, they even have a little picture of a wolf down there. So we said, okay, got it. So hopefully that pops up again, because that is probably easy to forget, especially if you're in a hurry, you just got home from work or just got home from school and you're wanting to stream. All right, um, so here we go. Streaming targets, here's what you can link your live streaming platforms, toggle any of them on or off or unlink them entirely. You can also log in with any linked platform. Okay, so I guess now we have to connect the uh, Facebook account, our YouTube account, and our Mixer account. Modern incoming messages from every enabled platform while live streaming. Okay, cool. So that's the uh, unified chat. Let's connect with our Facebook account. Mob, of course, would like to manage your pages. This is what I was wanting. There we go. Yep. Boom. Done. Okay, that's what I was wanting. Connect YouTube account. Let's do that. Okay, now it's going to manage our YouTube account. We're going to allow. Continue. All right, let me see if I can't remember our man Mixer. I doubled in Mixer for a little bit. Wow, that took forever. Oh, all right. There it is. So it looks like we have everything set up. Okay, so it opens up another browser. Okay, uh, let's go on and look at this. We'll test that later in a minute. Target Facebook page. There we go. Stream duration, four hours plus. If you set your stream for longer than four hours, the video will not be saved on the Facebook website. Mature broadcast, mixer only. We're definitely mature broadcast. Um, we used to have that on uh, Twitch. I think they took it away, but I still have mine linked as mature, so it never, it has never came off. Select game. Ask us to add it for future streams. Okay, so we're gonna do this like as a test thing. We're gonna do uh, Rick and Morty Pocket Mortys. What's in a title? Everything's in a title. People sit there and think other people ignore the new titles. We have that, everything looks good. And I usually keep my stream anywhere around uh, two to three hours. Broadcast description. Um, okay, the broadcast descriptions are used exclusively by YouTube and Facebook. Okay, saving info overwrites any previous Streamlabs OBS settings with your Mob Crush multi stream key and settings. So we can come back to this at a later time, but I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to jump on, and I'm going to test all this out to see how well it works. And uh, stream this month, zero to 45 hours. So hopefully when you come back, uh, we'll see at least an hour or two on there. And I will let you know what I think of this mob crush. 